All right, all right. I'm here. Welcome. You guys, I really didn't need my laptop. Should just use my phone. All right, so. Um, Hello. Hello. Hey, I'm going to raise your volume hey, this time. Ah, thanks. Remember. Yeah. What match are we? Okay, so it's MF versus. Wait. Oh. This is a. So we're just starting out. They just uh, finished deck building. Yep. Nice. Do you all hear me? Yep. Yep, yep. You're on your laptop, Mike. All right. Oh, oh, eight. Is that oh, my eight phone? One. Oh. Honoka? To, I mean, Tokoyo. Is that A1 Tokoyo? Yep. Damn, nice. A1 Tokoyo, Mizuki. Let's see. This is Talia and Yurina. Oh, this is. Yeah, he banned. Nasty. He banned Yatsuha, which is. Uh, Makes sense. Yeah. When you when you're running a reaction heavy deck, you don't want to play against a, yeah. the person with no reactions. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense, right? It's and what about well, on the other side? Who banned? Uh, M four banned Sine A one. Uh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Sine is still very strong, even though it's A one. Yeah, I was thinking he would go with the Tokyo, assuming that his Yatsuha was going to be banned. Or we'd know he was yeah. going to be playing a really aggressive build, but or assume rather. Yeah. No, these are good bans, I think. Yeah, Sine is still really strong, even when it's the A one Sine. I actually like the A one better, though I'm usually crucified for that opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we can't hear you now, Purple, if you're trying to say anything. No, I'm, yeah. I'm chilling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, is, is, um, what is Ray's sun? Or sound of whatever? Sound of the is sun. Whenever he plays a reaction, he gets one aura from Shadow. Yeah. Damn, that's a, that's a very reaction-heavy deck. It's actually not, though. That's one of the things I was kind of yeah, criticizing. Uh, what is it? Is it not? He's got... It's like. He's got Polite Return and Quash. Those are 100% of his reactions. Oh, I thought I saw more. There's no counteroffensive then. Right? There is a counteroffensive. That's oh, not a reaction, is, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I'm, so, I'm thinking about the the one there is a, like a blue and a pink that counters from... Oh, Bulwark. Yeah, Bulwark, yeah. That is not no it. Bulwark. I think yeah, Bulwark yeah. would have been better than... Uh, than Quash personally, but yeah, same. Um, and he's got oh, the. Baby. I think he's planning on doing some nonsense with Radiant Luminosity, so he can. Uh, yeah, probably. Can replay his reactions. I think that works kind of well versus Thalia and. Yurina. Plus, he also has the. I don't, uh, know. I don't think so. He also has the shield bearers that he can throw out too. Yeah. And he's got two cards that recruit, and he can recycle them because they're they're actions. Well, we can recycle command because that's an action. You can't recycle uh, lead the charge. I would have liked to have seen a steady advance, honestly. I feel like in a slower matchup, you're more allowed to play throughout. I don't yeah, think this well, is a I slow agree. matchup, though. I think I think Yurina Thalia is well, super snake, aggressive. Yeah. The snake's going to try to make it slow. That's kind of the whole point. And I think having the ability to just even recover three times is pretty decent against a sword deck, especially where he doesn't have a lot of turns to really apply pressure. Um, I feel like Snake's going to have a lot of those weird turns where he just kind of draws dead. And having a three out to just kind of chuck out there to either just recover some ore, or if he has time to get some units to like pick up a shield bear, I think would have been really good for him. Yeah, I'm going to double check that M4 actually decided to bring a three out. He did not. Did I was not. thinking that would also be very strong against Mizuki, but... Yeah, no art, no art of drawing either. He had it for a moment, and he, he seemed like he was wavering on it. Hmm. Yeah, kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, you don't he, want to bring throughout he's going the, a... the waving edge build. Yeah, I don't personally like it. Wait, what are his specials again? He has Alpha Edge, Julia's, and one other. So he's probably going with the Yaksha form thing. What does what does the Koyo lose again Omega. for oh, that geez. special? When the A one? Do you remember like? Um, they lose glancing strike for like another entrancing strike. No, no, just just the special. Oh, what uh, special does she lose? Do you uh, it, 
Eternal Migrant, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, is that is the snake really not bring a mortal flower? Did not yeah, bring a mortal that's, flower. That's, wow. that's why I asked this. That is weird. Why would you not bring I mean, it worked now because M4 didn't bring any big finishers. I think so he's planning know. on dumping all of his flair into turret. That's why he has, uh, well, I mean, there's a lot of reasons to bring Sony stage, especially with uh, Thalia, who's going to dump Roaring on you. Yeah. Uh, slow match so far. It seems um, like M4 has been working at moving forward. Yeah. He did Mull 3. I would have tried to Mull hard for Roaring, but I guess he put it on the ground, on the bottom. Because I feel like when you're when you're going black box, your whole plan is to try to dump your tokens as fast as possible for the first. I guess he's trying deck. to dodge the 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 sunny stage by not by, by playing like this. Hey, why are we winning? This is so pointless, actually. Yeah, he's what? trying. He's I trying mean, to what? snipe roaring, maybe. Uh, why or are... get knowledge? I he's guess he's trying. He's trying to. He's trying to let M four approach him faster. It's a very good strategy, actually. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> if you're if you're if you're using wind here, why are you discarding wind uh the, the sunny, sunny stage. stage? Yeah. Yeah, I don't it's know, that's weird. trolly poly. Yeah. Best case scenario he sniped roaring, which is weird anyway, because he would have played it if he had it. It also would have been <laughs> much <laughs> better if yeah, with Sunny Stage, yeah. absolutely, because then he resurges it at the end of the turn. Yeah. Just, but... just just discard quash, I guess. We're, we're playing our abilities on curves. That's how we win. <laughs> But yeah, wind was really weird. I think the other one's fine. But yeah, wind is very strange because it makes him be able to approach more and doesn't really get a lot of value. And as I said, the absolute juice would have been if we would have sniped Roaring, which wouldn't have made sense because you just always play Roaring when you get it. Right. So At this point in the game, absolutely, yeah. Later in uh, the game, you might save until you have two Vigor because you want to get your token. I, liked, I like the wind. I just don't like discarding Sunny Stage for it. I know I wouldn't have played wind in any situation, even with the sunny stage. There's no reason because it's also free, like a free knowledge thing too. Yeah. Like the one or I mean, the one or is arguably bad because it allows them to approach more. You know, you're not going to snipe anything out of the hand, and you lose a flare for it, and you show the special. Well, I would have held it. Snake also wants to play up close. Is the thing there, and I don't think M4 has too much. Well, why is well, he I mean, I guess Urena Thalia. Yeah, no, that you don't want to be mid range or like short range, I guess. Mm. But he wants to get I close enough to be able to play lead the charge. He wants to uh, be able to counter assault or counter offensive. But, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter though. There's no way that you just let him, you let him for approach in that situation. You should just do it on your own terms, not or uh, give them a do a free or damage to incentivize them to approach. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens here. Does he have a real turn here? Uh, yeah, he does because he's kicking maneuver up. Here it comes. Mm -hmm. Here comes a lot of pressure, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Although I see a lot there of is. Just kinda... He doesn't. He doesn't. Have... Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I really don't like perpetual win. Why do we bring perpetual win? Yeah, I don't like win here anyway. As well. Yeah, I I think do, that's why... that's anticipating much more of a control deck from and from it more than really makes and sense. Pally? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like you, you, you would bring uh, perpetual wind to try and hit roaring to try and hit turbo switch. There are the main yeah. things. What, I would what is of. his? What is his third Tur special? Turbo switch is the big one. Uh, who, who's third special? Snakes. Uh, his last one is turret. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. That's another thing. Burning wind. This is also kind of jank, right? Because he's burning. Um, wind. He's, he's almost never going to be able to turret by the way he's playing as well. I would have held oh, the flare gonna, just for the. Um, he's going to take a lot for of the turret. Anymore. I think the turret's better value. It's going to take a lot. Yeah. Oh, God. Wait, no, he's not going to get the brandish off. He's not going to get the brandish off. So it's not terrible. All right. And distance the chance. Another thing, I'm not a huge fan of the quash either. We're playing against Talia, I think the distance changes too much. No, he could the Vacity to use his waving edge here. Oh, he, he, yeah. He actually could have brandished. Did he want to? He didn't have. Where's his, he doesn't have Vivacity. He just Did discarded he? it. Yeah, he just discarded. He could have used Avacity and played Waving. Oh, no, no, Waving Edge makes it. Oh, sorry, Avacity makes it one up. closer. I'm dumb. <laughs> in yeah. my opinion. I guess he wants he to. Just... He wants the, the, the pair reshuffle. 
Yeah, this hand just blows, right? Like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't necessarily hate the way that Snake yeah, where's, the deck. Where's it your counter? Where's it to... Where's your... Oh, did he reshuffle? Uh, man, I am not paying attention. Oh, he discarded he counter on offensive because he, he likes winning. <laughs> no, I mean, counter offensive is pretty much the entirety of this build. And actually, and the, um, the five range thing. He's packing that, right? Is he not? Uh, Please tell me he's packing entrancing. No, he's not. Is he? He's not. Wow. All right, so I mean, how, how are we winning that is, again? That is Having weird. a bunch of reactions to your opponent doesn't mean you win the game. It just means that you die a lot slower. I, I guess it's a turret game plan. Eager to find out. It's like turret and counteroffensive are his, his main offensive tools here. Yeah. Yeah, but M4 is not going to choke out of it, though, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty decent card, I think. I mean, but see, like, he's never going to be able to turret if he keeps just burning everything. And that's, like, the main way you kill him for. And then, like, you don't, it's not like you have a super good late yeah, game. Yeah, he can even play these now. reactions proactively on his own turn and try to, yeah. to hit the, uh, to, or to get the uh, Sound of the Sun effect. So you can play the Blight Return as a 2 1 and get it in aura. Yeah. Yeah, but none of this is winning. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> Play, yeah, uh, I mean, you could just one you could do return. a bunch of things. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I I don't mind. I mean, just throwing two one. No, I, I've done it. Bad. I've done it many times, but it it doesn't feel good. But there's no follow up. Yeah, I mean that's the problem. Is that he has a bunch of tools to react to what Infor is doing, but he doesn't generate himself a game plan in doing so. Especially draws Tur the, is the game next plan. turn. That seems like it would be a mistake. Yeah, I think we'll we'll see. Maybe yeah, he, I mean, I just maybe he knows see. something that we don't. I mean, yes. Oh, yeah, I mean, maybe he knows the hidden cards under the Vigor board trick. It's a pretty good one. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty good one. The the mid-game change of cards. Wait. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think this is a... Oh. Check the Vigor board. <laughs> Check the Vigor board. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I okay. mean, okay, we get resurges here. Pog, I guess we get to get win back so we can... Oh, he actually could hit Roaring this turn if he did his turn in a really janky way. <laughs> but... How could he hit Roaring Why did turn? it M4? Oh, wait, no, he can't. Never mind. <laughs> it feels bad. It's not immediate res... Even if it was immediate no. resurgence. Yeah, it would be actually amazing well... if it was immediate, I guess, but... yeah. It would have to have a different kind of condition for it to it. Well, I know it actually would be really good, yeah, with the uh, only Megami that can give you a bigger. Yeah, that would be actually insane. I mean, when your Vigor hits too, I think would have to be the change, and it would probably be broken anyway. Yep. Oh my god, we're turning. It's winnable. There we go. Bong. Winnable. 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 Wait, also, this is another thing. How is he recharging? Wait, what? Oh, sunny stage research. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. kind of interesting. I guess Terminal. that's not the yep. not Terminal. the worst thing ever. Bigger. And he's got the sunny oh, stage red, and he can't move up. Yeah, aura. that's really good, actually. But he has two. Yeah, this is actually pretty solid, like as of right now. But I guess sunny yeah. stage is also they just need to tick down. But um, sunny stage. Um, yeah, he is gonna f one a one here. Yep. But do we get a little bit more fancy? And this this trolls, yep, this breaks artistic. Oof. This is huge, actually. Mm, yeah, it's this a card for a card still. Absolute... It's it like breaks, this, this could have been artistic attack, for two but... turns. I but think it's good. yeah, with Sunny Stage Star out of play. It. Oh, this should also oh, tick down. Oh, he's going to take a lot of damage. Keck W. This is gonna hurt really bad. This go, is actually boys. probably just game losing here. I think this Wash is just, game, is just like. Ugh. Like you're playing against Thalia, yeah. when is the distance not going to change? Yeah, I think this is just game over here, actually. You can still because throw a reaction so out, damage? so you have a yeah. counter assault. But yeah, it's it's not looking right. You might even throw the plate return out it here could... just to damage the aura for the potential counter assault. I don't think. The, uh, I would say the only silver lining here is that Snake will get a life damage back, but uh... he might not. Why? Oh, you think? Well, no, well, A1. I mean, there's no reason for him not to play the... That's a, was that Waving Edge in his hand? Yes, it Yeah, is. okay. Okay, so he could... Uh, okay, fine. I, I'll, I'll buy that he discards the Waving Edge and advances. Uh, you know, he can play the Waving Edge, get rid of his last two tokens, and maneuver up. 
Oh, I forgot he maneuvers you. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, he just dumps. Okay, yeah, then he never mind. He just wins here, actually. If he chooses to do everything. Oh, and he gets more damage, too, Paul. Yeah, he can actually do the Alpha Edge twice here, which is gross. Yep. Yep, it goes. Pretty gross. Oh, I guess the Brandish won't connect then, will it, actually, now that I'm thinking about it? Because he can just play the Quash. Uh, he, hmm. The Quash doesn't stop the Brandish, though. Yeah, but he gets a Menorah first, doesn't it? Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. So actually, yeah, this is something I miscalculated. I forgot right. that all the reactions he's going to play gets a Menorah. Yeah, but sound, again, there's sound there's some being boss. There here. is some silver lining, but it's not looking good. Wait a minute. Yeah. Can he be a zero aura? No. Yeah, he's oh, there it is. Yep. There it is. But he still gets uh, he still gets another damage. Yeah. It's not that bad, I guess. Oh, he's gonna move Saving up the Oof. That's combust too. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, he wants the combust now anyway though, because he wants to transform. And now he can elf edge for life damage. Lots to do. Was that one three five seven, right? Yep. Do you think this pressure's tick, a lot? Tick. Just wait till the the extra form opens up. Yep. It's gonna be nasty. But yeah, I mean, Snake was able to actually immediate a lot of damage using the reaction, but I mean, yeah, it's just like the issue is that I don't know how he wins. I wish he would have packed, like, some form of a game plan, like the um the 5 reach one. That yeah, does the a damage reach. to life. Or even then, and, that would have been pretty hard, too. And maybe Mortal Flower. He does get counter off. The 5 reach play one pairs time. really well. Like, I feel like you have to run Rabbit Staff if you're running the 5 range, Entrancing Strike. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. That, I, then that's the, deck, the build the I, just I would have been opted for. And then just drop the reaction crap. Or, I mean, you just go full reaction, but that's not winnable. But if you're going to have... That's the problem, I think, with Bazooki as a Megami, is that she isn't really a great Megami. Like, as a solo Megami, she really needs someone to accommodate her very well. And there's not a... I mean, there's not a whole lot of Megami that I think really command people to Try assist to them. You, right? Yeah. <sighs> But yeah, Mizuki by herself, if you just were to run a bunch of Mizuki cards, you'd never win almost any matchup, because she just doesn't really do too much. She gets you some crappy units that can kind of do things, and then you can cancel some attacks, and then if the cards line up, you can do a counter-offensive into like a Spearman, and then like that's the best thing you can do. Oh, like, I personally yeah. never discard counter-offensive as Mizuki. Spoilers. Agreed. But... It's definitely like, that's like the Mizuki attack card, and it's a damn good one, too. But the problem with this just... you like is that you gotta rely on your opponents to misplay. I don't mm. think that's necessarily true. I think Mizuki has a lot of tools that are able to um negate your opponent from applying the amount of pressure that they normally would be able to. But I think the thing with Mizuki is you need someone who can complement that can usually make up for the lack of damage that Mizuki has. But, I mean, I think, I mean, I don't even think this match was, like, 100% losable for Snake. I just wish he would have played in a way that was a bit more aggressive. Yeah. Like, just he having built in a way that was more aggressive. Hit life. Snake yeah, playing aggressive, I, mean, I don't think this deck is winning. Yeah, I guess that's true as well. At least M4 didn't lock Hanoka O, and just, we have to do some, probably would just would have won if he just would have locked Hanoka O and just did the same yeah. shit that he does every match. MF is really Turret good with Hanoka yeah, he is. I agree. Dude, dude's Random. got the mess. Oh, the he's character. not even waiting for the reactions. He's just going. It's probably. I think it's. Oh, his he doesn't have anything right? in his hand. Honoka A one. Oh, right, Honoka in general. Probably. Yeah. yeah, but I guess he just thinks Honoka O sucks. But I don't know. I mean, he could have just done it and probably won that. Kind of hard to spell. ditch the. He discarded the plate return to back up to this distance too. I don't know. I don't like... know why we were playing plate return. Light Return is still fine. Even if they play Roaring to disable it, there's still, like, again, 
at best, it's going to be a card for a card. So, I mean, I guess he's setting up his counter offensive is what he's looking for. That's the real yeah. reason he's doing it right now. If he but had, then I just wish I had a better special. If he had a recruit or something, and he could have a you know his shield person up, then the counter offensive would be looking much better here. But yeah, I wonder if he's going to rip the counter offensive anyway. But yeah, like in this situation, we were literally just use a play return to do one aura damage. Like one or one flare for one aura damage feels really bad. All right, I think M4 is probably going to strongly consider doing his transform this turn, seeing as he has empty hand and okay-ish aura. Interesting thoughts on the reshuffle. I don't think it's a horrible idea. Pull back the brandish and slash. You pull back brandish, you just win, right? Oh, that should go back before reshuffle anyway. Does it not reshuffle vivacity cheeks? You mean, you might just as you said play the three out here they transform. I do like the idea I think that's of vivacity and burning steam letting you go into shield charge, but M4 didn't bring shield charge. Oh yeah, M4. I mean not M4. I think vivacity is a solid card in this matchup. Um, yeah, I would have liked it. I think I think it would have been fine. Probably just vivacity, the wavering edge. I would say it's probably the most common thing to vivacity. We're just going to not do that. We're going to play whatever this is. It's the 2 1, right? Yeah, but it, he doesn't have any machine tokens down, so. Like, he couldn't even play the Waving Edge right now. True. Wait, why is he. Oh, he moved up. Okay. He's got a good life lead. Snake's deck doesn't play well yeah, from, orly, life from behind, lead. I think. Yeah, I don't think so either. I don't think his deck uh, plays well ever. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> I mean, as I said, I think it's. I think I don't think the idea is bad. Like I think the idea that Snake's getting for, he's probably able to execute it, but it's just the idea is just not winning. <laughs> like I, the deck does things. Like it, it does have a purpose, but it's just not something that wins. I do think it's a little, a little bit split uh, between like I having it, having the reactions and having all the other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, having you can't play this game like this game kind of forces you to play somewhat aggressive, particularly with the Megamis that he picked as well. Decoyo A1 isn't really aggressive, but the the gimmick is you definitely need to be working that entrancing strike. Like that just feels baffling to me that There's he's not playing entrancing strike. Right? Waiting to reshuffle first. Like entrancing strike is just the way we win like a hundred percent of the time. Like, I'm not saying just adding the card would have defaulted a win, but it would have made the matchup far more playable. I think so, too. And versus... I don't know. I think he might have a very difficult time getting into Entrancing Strike range against Thalia, though. <laughs> All right, here's the action. Um, if it... I mean, yeah, I mean, in in a in a box, yeah, probably true. But I mean, as I say, if he just brings the tools in order to back up, I think it would have been fine. And then he just reshuffles it again. Um, but he is also, you have to think about, like, the way that... Um, Takoyo moves, I think he could have aura locked him quite a bit as well. And with Sunny Stage and all that other stuff, like I really think it, there was some potential for this uh, to be a solid deck. But I just think it really comes down to being able to aura lock. I think that's the big thing. Not necessarily just R5 being the default range. Even with maneuvers, I mean, he hasn't even been able to get his artificial tokens like really like back that much. Um, he hasn't had to really yet either. He missed out on a maneuver, but like that's the thing—he won't. He's not able to maneuver like a bunch. Of, I mean, she kind of has a rotation uh, when she's able to maneuver well, a bunch versus having, not having a bunch. transformed. You can be pretty freely maneuver now. It's just uh... yeah. Here we go. It's just a question of, of staying at one vigor so you can redraw your uh, your roaring and and. Recover your machine tokens immediately, because even when your attacks get canceled in the action form, you don't lose your machine tokens. So you can just discard another card as another two one. Well, this turn's gonna hurt a lot. 
Yep, this turn is probably gonna decide. You know. Nah, I think that the game was decided before it started, but I think that this will be the final nail in the coffin. I mean, what's he gonna do? You're gonna take this to life. You're gonna take everything to life until you don't. All, all the cards are on the table. Anymore. There's no reactions because he only brought two. One of them was Quash. Yeah. Rest in peace, Quash. Go on to the plate pile now. All right, so then we just it's back in a better up place. And then, uh, no, I think anything anywhere that isn't this game. Song and dance. <laughs> song and dance would have been really uh, nice. Ah, true, true. Song and dance would have been really. Song good. and dance in the deck? No. No. Mm. I mean, is it? It's in the pile though. No. He, what didn't, he, the... didn't build, he didn't build it. I mean, it's in, it's it is an A one's options. Yes. Oh yeah, um, if that's what I you're mean, asking, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll buy Song and Dance over. Uh, so yeah, I would buy that. I'd buy Song and Dance over Quash and Trancing Strike versus over. Um, let's see. Mm, probably well, over the, well, the, the problem, or gaining one. Over lead the charge. Problem, though, Rap- how does how does he lead? deal with the full aura? That's why I like the the range five thing, like hitting. Yeah, that's directly, what I said, that your, was. yeah. Hitting your opponent directly into life in this matchup, I think it's pretty strong. I think we drop perpetual win for oh, probably cool. any He's other got the, special the, game. The shield soldier tech. Yeah. Shield bearer escapes one attack. Yeah. Yeah, escapes the brandish. That's oh. huge, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty it's good tech. Unfortunately, probably just can see. Yeah, it, I don't actually. think it's a, it, it's 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 a cool tech, but I don't think it's enough. Yeah, now you get the now you eat the waving edge with the combust, maybe or maybe not yeah. because then M4 is stuck without being able to do any basics, and then uh, the slash is not in any. range. I'm really That's... curious. I would have. I wonder what Snake really builds here. Wait, it's hey. a trancing strike. Yeah, it's another life damage. His R3. What? Yeah, his R3. Oh. <laughs> Derp. Yeah. I would him more more attacks. Keep doing it before. Come on. I know you don't like playing attacks. <laughs> yeah. But, or, or, God damn it. He only he, likes he plays that the one, then ones. he can't do anything because he loses yeah. all his last machine token. Uh, is this? Is he loses this all of his enough? basic action ability. So the, of course you don't play that now. Not unless you have a certainty you're getting roaring next play. turn and you're going to be at two bigger, which he won't be because he, he spent one of his bigger. It's worth. You should have done it. One more. It puts Snake down to one, and then if you can tell me how Snake does five life damage in two turns, then please tell me the secret. <laughs> A1 will save Mizuki. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty inconsequential, probably, in the grand scheme of things. But, um... Yeah. It's just over now. Uh, why? I also, oh yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, trash that card. Trash that one-one card for the entrancing strike. All Here's right, clonk. Yep. Take it to life because why not? Yep. Uh, but yeah, Doesn't I would have taken. Yeah, I would have dropped the um, the drop that one-one. That card's terrible. Like it almost actually, that card's like genuinely terrible in like every situation. There's not uh, actually. I disagree. A good card I think it. I think it's okay, but absolute it, it definitely doesn't really work with this situation. Like with what he's think, trying to do with this deck. It, doesn't, it works doesn't if work you're if you're trying to be like a, a close range attacker. It's awful. If it was a two one, then maybe. But the, the card's awful. Conscripting a unit is so useless. At, it's like, like in at every least match two ever. one ones. Worst case scenario. Except for one of those one ones is terminal. unit is not useless. What are you talking about? To yeah. Lead the charge is absolutely useless. Throw the Zuka player. Absolutely trash. And it draws roaring. Should have done it. FF. Uh, let's see. He can't. He can't recover his machine tokens because he's only got one bigger. Should have done it anyway. Brandish. Put me out. Wait, is there any way this he just wins, right? There's no reaction. Yeah, he just wins. What do you mean? R3 wins? and Brandish. He doesn't have Brandish. Oh, he has Vivacity. Brand- yeah. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we should have reshuffled. reshuffled. You okay, Purple? You need your glasses? He probably, he probably would have been good to reshuffle though. He could have <laughs> he could have a mega burst and begun a new onslaught of aggression. 
Mm-hmm. That could have closed the game, actually. Yeah. Actually, you can still just focus and close he's, the game with a Mega Burst. He's not in the rush, though, is he? Yeah, M4 like, doesn't like winning. They're they're both kind of allergic Snake, to winning, honestly. Snake Snake doesn't have any burst, no, does he? Does he? Like you you know the the Dax gameplay. Yeah, you, you know, know you know there everything is no he's got burst at this point, right? Yeah, he's got he's got it all. There is out. no burst in there, so. Oh, that card is so no bad, reason to actually. play the charge. Was the worst card ever. <laughs> I really no, yeah. it's not behead or yeah, yeah it's, it's not behead. Else. Oh, I got behead. At least behead days. can win you games on occasion. Yeah. <laughs> if your opponent's just like happens to get really unlucky, then yeah, Behead can actually just win you it's games. Because you never expect Be Behead, right? Because Be- Behead is, is strong when your opponent doesn't expect uh, it. I would hope to expect a 1 1 just so it's a dead card in their deck. <laughs> they never, that just sucks. Yeah, the I card think, is so I think bad. That, I think that needs that to be a card being... needs to be buffed to a 2 1. If it was yeah, a 2 1, I, I, I kind of agree. I, I don't think it's as bad as you say, but I think that card should be a 2 1. I think if it was a two one, it would be OP. Yeah, I'm not sure OP, but it it would be an actually good card. It would be it would be okay, swing rush okay, level wait, wait, wait. good if, if it was okay. a two one. That's okay wait, though, wait, right? Wait, wait. Because swing rush is swing rush has conditions. Good card. If it had like something like if you reacted last turn to script a unit and it was a two one, then it would be mm-hmm. kind of on par with swing rush. Um... Tell me how you just don't play steady advance and then just don't care about any other unit generation. I'm not sure. I agree. Uh, actually, just tell me in general what I feel units like are you actually do, worth using. You do <laughs> either the shield steady, steady advance. Shield bear is always worth having because you can you can get your mm, react, sure. reaction status by yeah. should, just should throwing it out there with some random attack. Um, you can even sure. throw it out against the routes and be like, okay, well, I can't do anything to these throughouts, but I'll just react so that I can counter assault you. Um, the spear carriers are are decent for punish, but again, they're they're mostly if you Not have really. the if you have the wrong work right. No, just getting an extra two one in is solid, especially if you have the uh, the other one that makes all your units do extra damage. Then they all become two twos. Oh, here we come. Yeah, that, 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 that's winnable if you're playing that card. <laughs> all the extra damage on what? The Amazuki um, special? Um, it's extra damage on your unit cards and on your non Mizuki cards. So that's a, that's a Mizuki reaction, right? Yeah, yeah, that's cancels oh. an attack and gives you the uh enhancement oh, for a while. GG. And yeah, that's doomed. Alright, that was another amazing game. <laughs> I uh, just love watching all of them. Uh good job to M4 getting his revenge versus Snake. Um yep. good job to Snake.